Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna to be kind of a short video, but I'm gonna give you my first impressions on finally pulling a trailer uh, with the Chevy Colorado Trail Boss uh, with, a two, with an additional two inches of lift uh, on the rear from the ground again to the ball of the hitch. So we're about to move apartments, meaning that I'm gonna rent, I'm renting a, uh, I believe it's a six foot wide by 12 foot U-Haul trailer with the drop gate. So we're gonna head over there now and see how it does. All right, we're here. What is this um, place called? This is a uh, U-Haul. So we're at U-Haul picking up the trailer. So let me see. I was just gonna see. Trailering right there. Right. it off because I'm gonna have to drop off myself uh, with this one. It's going to go down to that test the ground. Got it. Put this up. Let's start up. Bring it up so it'll come up off her and then take the things off. So take the wire loose. Cool. I just want to make sure it was as simple as I thought it was. It <laughs> like every other trailer. <laughs> it's very simple. These are, these are so much easier than the rules. And then we just do a dial. And then we'll take it down to the building. So we're going to be setting up this as a new trailer. Um, it's a U-Haul trailer, so I'm just going to see if it works here. So this one, uh, so enter trailer length. This is a 12 foot trailer. Um, wow, cool, look at it. No issues found. Uh, let's see here. Trailer blind zone checked. Um, I can hit a start light test. Exit your vehicle, inspect the trailer lights as they turn on and off. I just want to see if it's working. Cool. I think we just missed it, but it went, see how it's it's going through its cycle? So mm -hmm. it, the truck is automatically testing the trailer light, see? Blinker to the left here, blinker to the right here. That's really awesome. Yeah. That's a cool feature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. So, All right, so let's go. Trailer. We're gonna test how it pulls. We're gonna test how it pulls when we put a lot of stuff right. in the back later. So we're heading home. All right, so we are we are good. What do we got here? Checklist. We are good. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Lights are good, jack is stowed, wheels good, good. And uh, I didn't adjust the gain because we're good to go, but all right, guys, so that's the trailer setup. So let's go ahead and. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're towing this, uh, you know, fairly heavy uh, U Haul trailer. You know, it, they're, these trailers are super beefy, so it is heavy, it has surge braking. Um, so we're good we're good with it there you can feel it on the back um i can feel it 
uh, just because it, it is a heavy trailer. But um, the truck pulls it effortlessly. Um, I've got it in tow haul, uh, tow haul mold, so we're gonna check that out, see how it pulls. But all in all, the uh, the infotainment center and how it has that trailer packaging and how it tests the lights and it knows what kind of trailer that you have. I mean, that's super, super convenient. Uh, that's a really, really cool feature that they added on here. Um, so you can stay outside and you can check all your brakes and all your lights and all that kind of stuff before you leave the house. But as far as it's going now, it, like I said, you can feel the weight behind me, but it's not bad. The truck pulls it very, very smoothly. Um, we're gonna jump on the highway here, see how it is, and then we're gonna give you some afterthoughts uh, once we got it loaded down. All right, guys, so we're on the highway. Um, pulls super smooth. I didn't find any matching places. Of course, you know, Siri wants to talk. But um, very smooth. Um, she's gonna show you the app here. It does something really interesting. So it tells you how uh, how far you've pulled and what your average fuel mileage is. Obviously, we've only gone two miles here. We just left. Um, fuel economy's going up. I'm keeping it about 60 miles per hour on the highway. Um, but this Colorado, it pulls effortlessly, really. Um, and I don't know if y'all know, I, I don't have an exact weight, but these U-Haul trailers, this 12 foot by uh, six foot, they're, they're heavy. They're just heavy, bulky, full, you know, metal trailers. It's not like it's just a mesh and wood, right? This is a heavy trailer. Um, and that Adelief in the rear added 750 pounds to my capacity there, which actually helps a lot. So more to come. Uh, we're gonna tell you again how it feels once it's loaded down and maybe we'll get 12 miles per gallon. You know, 10 miles per gallon with a heavy trailer is not too bad, so we'll follow up. All right. Let's see. Those are heavy because especially our cabinet is all in there. Look at that. Perks of having a truck. So easy, huh? everybody so wrapping up the video um, on our towing so the 2023 Colorado Trail Boss does a great job um, we didn't go super far we're only a few miles away from where we were actually moving I didn't get to get on the highway I was on the highway with the empty trailer um, I used a 12 foot long by a 5 foot wide U-Haul uh, trailer and if you all know they're solid metal everything is metal they're stupid heavy I'm pretty sure the trailer, they were weighing it. They, I was talking to the guy, it's like 4,400 pounds, just absolutely crazy. A small single box trailer, just a single axle, is like 1,000 pounds. And I had, a, I had a double axle, 12 foot long. So there, uh, I think he was telling me about, about 4,400 pounds. But um, easy, no issues. I was pulling about 12 miles per gallon with it, um, even with it loaded down. And that's with my truck bed loaded down and the trailer loaded down. Um, the level up suspensions at a leaf helped quite a bit. Um, I seen no squat. Yes, I know it's a double axle. So yes, I know it's not gonna squat as much um, because you know it kind of um, levels it out on that double axle. Um, but um, uh, you know, you can still feel it when it uh, latched down. So otherwise, I mean, the Colorado did great. Um, no issues at all. The trailering features are phenomenal. Um, the truck <laughs> looks good pulling a trailer, feels good pulling a trailer, not terrible with the gas mileage. Um, I'm only pushing about 14, 15 city. Um, so, you know, 12 uh, with a 4,000 pound trailer, 
isn't really too bad. Now I did take that on the highway to go and get it and that's about 15, about 15, 20 minutes on the highway there and back. And uh, it gets up and goes, you know, with the, uh, with the Colorado. There's absolutely no hesitation hesitation of pulling the truck at all. He did a great job um, and uh, we can't wait to pull more. I don't know if I'm going to be pulling a, a whole lot of trailers in the near future. I don't know if I'm going to move again because we are actually moving and it's such a pain in the butt, right, uh, to pack all that. It's like, uh, you know, load, unload, load, unload. So, um, but all in all, guys, I just want to let you know, trailer does a great job. The trailing option is, is, is awesome. Um, everything worked as it should. The tow haul mode worked really, really well. It shift, shifted smooth. Um, just absolutely no issues. I'm very impressed with it. So. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped uh, anyone that was watching it. Um, check it out, the trailering mode. Um, you can tow and feel confident in towing uh, with the Colorado. So thank you for watching again and appreciate your support.